Well, I think the interesting thing with Apple is it's like a freight train at the moment. It seems unstoppable. It's weathered the uh, pandemic extremely well. And a number that caught my um, eye was very much the 1.8 billion active device is on the uh, Apple network. And that's an astonishing install base, which gives them tremendous momentum. And I'm sure I'll be back at some point talking about them hitting a milestone of 2 billion um, towards the end of the year, which is just just incredible. The reaction in the market perhaps wasn't as excited as uh, some of the technical analysts um, who were looking at the uh, size of the revenue. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that in previous quarters, the degree of beat has just been significantly higher. I think this is Apple's constant problem. They, they overperform. Expectations are massive. There's a lot of expectations built in. Uh, and even though, uh, from what I understand, um, you know, they beat a lot of the consensus earnings as well, um, there, 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 there's always some interesting reactions in the stock. But the trajectory is interesting. And uh, you know, there's other parts to their business, like the subscriptions business, which I think Arjun referred to, uh, and kind of all-time records in most categories. Um, and some some good news on the on the component supply chain as well, an area where Apple has excelled um, over the last uh, eighteen months. Ben, can I test the water on that because Tim Cook really pushing back around some of the supply chain issues, but it was a very negative reaction to when he updated the market last time round, and perhaps he wanted to manage the situation a bit better this time. Uh, it felt as though there are still issues, though. If you look at the Mac, for instance, the MacBook Pros, there's a delay time that's still quite long. Uh, some of the estimated delivery is still, what, March and April for some of these key products. There are issues with the iPad as well. Is it just slightly less focused because it's not around the phones and the phones have come to the market doing a lot of heavy lifting now for Apple? I think obviously people look at the phones because it's such an important part of Apple's revenue. And uh, we even saw Apple diverting components away from iPad. Again, I think Arjun referred to that. Um, but um, yeah, that, that's, that's a fortunate position they're in. Um, but let's make no secret about it. There are con su supply constraints with components. Apple is doing better than others, but it's not completely immune. Um, but I think it was very encouraging um, that they talked about the fact that supply constraints will be less. They didn't say they're going away. They said they will be less in the March quarter. Uh, and, and I think there'll be a number of Apple's competitors who will be looking on green with envy uh, because they are anticipating that they will continue to have significant difficulties well, well into the end of the year. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.